Right, I think that's probably enough for now. Not like I'm going to need them where I'm going. I hope. Could be a bit of a toss-up. Although, with any luck, the clan up at, uh... Hag Rock and Dead Crone Rock. With any luck, they're actually still friendly. They should be. And, of course, I'm going to need to find my way through the fog. Past Tushnagyol, past Pure Water Run, and across a bridge. That shouldn't be too difficult. Probably. Ah, that's nice. I can hear the car, and I can hear the cab. Hear them piling logs onto something. Come down the normal way, even though I don't like putting myself in valleys. There they are. Right, I still need to tell them about Bile Gulch Mine, I think. Uh... Right. Excuse me. Hmm? Could you let your chieftain know that Bile Gulch Mine is free and could use an extra pair of... Extra couple pairs of hands, perhaps? Alright, then. Thank you very much, sir. Now, we get on our way. Hello? Right. The friendly neighborhood orcish rancher. Not that way. Let's not disturb the cows. Hello, you have very sharp horns, sir. I don't want to get in your way. Probably, ma'am. Actually. I can't imagine they'd keep a bull in or out with a bunch of cows. Probably. Oh! Hello, bear! How's the salmon? I, th I see. A bit hungry, aren't you? <laughs> it's alright. I'm not going fishing. Gods. <laughs> oh, they really do mean business this time of year. It's still a bit early in the season yet, though. So he's probably just woken up. Or she. I don't know, that seemed like... kind of a small one. No cubs, though. Right? I have managed to cross the wrong bridge in spite of myself. Good job, Enna. <laughs> ah, that's alright. Just means I go up the river a bit. Perhaps... Do a bit of climbing. That might not be necessary. Just so long as I don't here, happen across any more Hello? What's this doing here? It has a single gold in it. Alright. Someone lost a very important shipment, I guess. <laughs> oh! I see. Well, the reach is somewhat treacherous. 
Well, this is going to be fun. The ever-present challenge of trying to find handholds. These particular rocks. Okay. Here we are. Well. It would not be the first time I've had to clamber up this waterfall. Just sort of have to keep your footing. I have seen bears do it. That! Oh, gods. Speaking of which. I hear you, friend. Sorry. <laughs> I, uh... I'm coming up the wrong way, aren't I? That's fine. Oh, hello. Oh, dear. <laughs> we have no handholds to speak of. There we are. Oh, this is extremely treacherous. Why didn't I just go around the other way? Hi. Hello. Oh, dear. <laughs> Okay. Keep going around this way. I have things to do today. Get out of our friendly bear's way. I imagine they're none too happy about having a large wolf in the area. And now I've managed to overshoot it. This is the hazards of trying to navigate the reach in the fog. Oh, for crying out loud. the bear. There's... Ah, there we are. Pure water, run. There's... the god's damned bridge. Oh. Oh, that's a big one. Alright. Oh. All right. Hey, bear. Hey, big boy. I'm not here to challenge you. Don't worry. You don't have to... Don't have to do your saunter at me. Right, that got... That could have gotten a bit interesting. I've... <laughs> right. I seem to be developing a bit of a prey drive. That's new. I've never wanted to chase running goats before. Oh. Wonderful weather we're having, isn't it? What do you need? I actually need to speak with your matriarch. I can find her.
The Silverblood family own half the Reach, but this is my land. The Reach belongs to the Forsworn. I see we have a bear problem around here. That's fine. Wonderful, I'm glad this leads into the rest of the camp. Try not to set off any of the traps. The reach will be ours again. Mark my words. Right. I'm Enna. Which is probably clear from just what I'm wearing at this point. Need something? I need to know where your matriarch is, but I assume she's up at the top of Dead Crone Rock, right? Hmm? Right. I will leave them alone. For the most part, anyway. Peaceful day, isn't it? Somewhat, anyway. Good. It's good to see that some of the armor is getting around. Oh. Is that yours? He's a... Uh... Right. That's an extremely well-behaved troll. Hmm? Good job. This is why this clan is good to have on our side, hello. Easy. Oh, right. No stealing from our friends. That would be just plain rude. Hello? Need something? No, just wanted to let you know that I'm around. And with any luck, I won't manage to set off too many traps along the way. <coughs> like that one, probably. Um... Right. I apologize if I accidentally set off your... Uh... Your soul gems here. I have a message for the matriarch. The reach will oh. Be ours again. Mark my word. Oh, I see. A nice little oven. Oh. Ah, and that's what I get for not being a local. Right. It's not easy these days, Oop. but we choose our own path now. Glory to the Forsworn. I'm sure they'll close that back up once I'm gone. Oh, sir. Need something? I'm here to see the matriarch. Kill one of us, and three more will take their place. The Forsworn are unstoppable. Right you are, sir. Oh. Oh. Oh, hello. 
I wonder if I've been getting a bit... ...growly around the edges. I guess I must have smelled you. Oh. <laughs> well, what are you doing in there? As long as she keeps you fed, right? Huh. Are you one of ours? I don't think you are, are you? Perhaps, perhaps not. It's hard to tell. Beautiful coat, though. Right. <laughs> well. Matriarch. I... Hate to interrupt the experiments in progress, but I bring news from Clan Druidoch. Ard Madanach sends his regards. The Karth Gorge is ours, and the remaining clans are preparing. It's going to be a bloody summer. And another thing, I think I know what you're doing with that werewolf. I might have learned something from my time among the Nords that might be useful to you. Lord Red Eagle, Ancient One, heed the call of your people. Still we fight for freedom, still our blades are dark with blood. I renew the Ancient Covenant, your sword of victory in hand. Arise, O Great One, from your honoured tomb, and turn your gaze upon us. Lord Phelan. This land is strange, yet familiar. The same Karth flows here, but she has carved her canyon deeper. The same mountains stand here, yet the valleys between them have changed. I see echoes of ghosts. I see the scars of landslides and wildfires, wars and massacres. The touch of oblivion itself, and I have known none of it. The reach has changed since your time, Lord Phelan, at least in some ways. But we're still fighting. That will never change. That we have remained, after all these centuries, speaks to our resilience. The Lord of Arena tests us all, and he has found us wanting. You tested me when I returned your sword. I take it you didn't find me wanting. Many have tried, many have failed. And I did indeed find you wanting, but unlike those that came before you, you are teachable. You have gone to lengths that few of our own would think to try, and you have learned. You came to me seeking not your glory, but my aid for our people, just as my right demanded a gift for a gift. The right also demanded that the sword be returned only when the reach is free. It was for a time under Madanok, for aiding him and for all you have done in pursuit of our freedom, you have my sword. A somewhat underwhelming sword for a legend. <laughs> it is not the sword that makes the legend, Little Crow. It is the one who wields it. 
And that brings me to the reason I summoned you. Lord Phelan, when I killed that dragon, that was you, wasn't it? You took its soul. Ah, it was, and I did. That was something I never dreamed I would have the chance to do, even in death, even in this strange undeath that you have brought me into. What does that mean? Is that... I've heard the Nords talking about a dragonborn, but that's... impossible. I assure you, it is not. You? You're Dragonborn? I was, and I have always been. They did not name me Red Eagle for the flowers where I was born. I wondered. I've always thought that story was strange. Red Mountain flowers grow everywhere. It is also a title, not a name. You know my name. Phelan. Yes, yes. Do you know what it means? I am going to assume it doesn't mean Red Eagle. It means... Little Wolf. Which... is what I am. And it's what I was when I came looking for you. A coincidence, I'm sure. But mine is not a name for a warlord. Not in your day, maybe. But Red Eagle was. Red Eagle is the name I was given when I came into my power. When I gave my heart to the Reach in order to rise where so many of our great leaders had bowed. When I learned the Sky Mother's ancient fury and gave it a a voice. A... A voice? You can shout like Ulfric. There have been many names for this gift and many forms it has taken, but yes, you do not think I held off Hestia's men alone with only, as you call it, an underwhelming sword, did you? <laughs> Even the strength of the briar in my chest would not have been enough. But then... If all of this is true, why haven't we heard of it? We still have legends, old ones, but none of them. (sighs) Because I failed our people, little crow. And that failure has allowed Hestra and her invaders to smother my voice and paint us all as she saw fit. But if she knew, why didn't... The Imperials are proud, and the Norse even more so. Someone surely would have bragged about defeating the Dragon of the Reach, right? It would not have been to their advantage. Those who dismiss us as brutes and savages would have their tender illusions shattered if they understood us. What I was, what I could do is something the Nords and the Imperials alike reserve only for their own heroes of legend. I would not be welcome among them. Did the Greybeards ever call you, like they did with whoever this dragonborn is now? No, and if they had, I would not have accepted their challenge. They were Nords in my day, and I suspect they are Nords still. They would not have acknowledged me. Perhaps they feared you. Most did. (laughs) And many still do, it would seem. But they fear us all. Our ways have deeper roots than any of them could imagine. They fear us. Because they seek to misunderstand us. I'm not even sure we understand us anymore, Lord Phelan. 
The clans have been scattered for far longer than I have been alive. Aside from two years of peace before I was even born. How much of our understanding was lost when Ulfric stormed Markarth? How many of our elders did he slaughter? How many fathers and mothers and siblings and children did he drive to their deaths in an effort to retake that moment of peace that he shattered? One might say the same about you. I... You know my fiery little crow. But do not let it blind you. What? After all that, you're telling me not to... I am telling you to temper yourself. And why should I? We had freedom, Lord Phelan. We had peace. We had our home in our name. And Ulfric Stormcloak put it and everyone who achieved it to the sword. He was not the first to do so, and blindly charging into a bear's maw is a good way to become prey. I am not charging blindly. We have plans. We're preparing. Madanak is working to get his network in the city re-established, starting in the Warrens. He knows how to play the Empire's games, and he's going to do so when we're in a better position. I... I'm walking the path of Hestra to put us there. I'm going to take Ulfric's head myself. You misunderstand your path. The clans of the Reach do not bow to weakness. Hestra forced us to unite or die. And so you have done the same. But you are one of us. You have done this with the unrelenting force of your heart, not with the force of an army. Where I failed, you and Madanok may yet succeed, but only if you do not throw this chance away in your haste for vengeance. Fly on eagle's wings. Lord Phelan, I know your fury. I know my own fury. I know Madanok's fury at Bragg's and Borkle's. Everyone. Can you teach me? Can you teach me to use the voice? That I do not know. It is an innate and ancient gift. I could teach you how to do battle. I could teach you the stories that were old, even in my day, but I do not know if I could teach you that. Tell me, did you plan to take Ulfric's head without that knowledge? Yes. I'll snap his neck in the wolf's jaws if I have to. Then perhaps you are strong enough already, if undisciplined. The spirit of the Reach is with you, little crow. And that spirit has roots that are as old as the bones of the world. What are you... Wait. Was I right? About the Skyforge, are we the ones who built it? No. But we are the descendants of the people who did. Our ancestors built foundations that are still in use today. They captured the power of the stars themselves in the ancient stones. Conquerors from the north and south alike have always feared us as much as they have exploited us. And that is why they seek to keep us buried under their stories, seen as scattered bands of feral man-elves in the hills. So then, our home is... It was stolen, buried, and built over long ago. That is the grief that we share with the Sky Mother. That is why we give our hearts to the Reach. That is why you 
And the generations before you have become forsworn. And that is why I'm telling you to have patience. What is a few more months of preparation in the face of a thousand years? I see your point, Lord Valen. But I can't wait that long. We will be ready to strike soon, and every day I wait is a day that Ulfric's forces gain strength. If I act alone, they may be too distracted by the Empire to retaliate, especially if I fail. And what if he is not? What if he does retaliate? Is that a risk you are willing to take? Yes. Then you are walking the same path as I once did. And look where it left us. Not exactly the same, Lord Phelan. I'm not walking mine alone. And I'm far from the only one who wants to see the bearer of Markarth dead. <laughs> In that case... Well... Good hunting, little crow.